Swartboy came out strong in defense of the Windhoek mayor and warned media houses and journalists against biasness. There are journalists, some, and media houses, some, who have been open to be good journalists, listening to all sides of the story, wanting to hear everybody's view. Certainly some of the journalists, after they visit important houses of the state institutions, after they start to win some sort of awards, begin to take a particular posture that is unbecoming. It was reported that the Windhoek mayor is receiving over $9,000 in transport, bringing her basic allowance to about $43,000. This particular benefit, though, is not new and has been enjoyed by former mayors and their deputies. Currently, all councillors, including the mayor, deputy mayor and chairperson of the management committee, receive transport allowances. The local authority councillors also receive allowances for appearances, conferences and workshops. And Swartboy describes this system at the municipality as a gravy train which media houses have failed to investigate in its totality. So why are we, why are we not writing about all of this? Why are we not complaining about the entire system where for every site visit, where they go to Korean Hub reclamation plant, where they go to Khurat O, where they go for a special, they get money for a worship, for a workshop where they are being capacitated, they are being paid to sit there. Swartboy says it is unfathomable the amount of money the city of Windhoek councillors make. It's a gravy train. No wonder we struggle to sometimes find Sade and others, uh, Ivan them, at the party head office because they have side visits they have uh, other important things to do because for every site visit, for every workshop, for everything here, they get paid. That's the context that I thought investigative journalists would cover. The LPM leader has instructed his party's representative to place the issue of payments on the council's agenda points. Emil Sebeb. NBC News, Ventuk.